how's it going, my six string friends? Good to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated, as always. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe. Lots of things coming out. You know, you'll know right away when I've got something good or something not so good, I guess. You'll be the first to tell me one way or the other. So anyway, um, I want to show you kind of the, the newest guitar I've added to the stables here. Uh, this is the Firefly, I guess also known as the Amazon.com uh, guitar. Uh, this is the, uh, you know, their, uh, their their take of the Gibson 335. I've been trying to find one of these for, you know, about a year or so. I think that they've been out a couple years now. And I totally forgot about it. Moved down here to the Carolinas. I happened to go to a music store for the first time, um, which I highly recommend. Woody's over in uh, Tiga Cay, which is kind of like the Fort Mill section still of, of South Carolina. Walked in looking around, looking around there, and I see this and it was reasonably priced. Uh, played it, and I kind of figured this is one to add. I know it's it, it's one of those inexpensive guitars. Um, you know, everyone was talking about it on the internet. Um, good, bad, indifferent, obviously. I paid just a little over 200 for this. Uh, I, I think that new, you know, new at one point, they were like 130, 140, whatever it was. But um, wanted to get one just to kind of see what it was all about and, and try it out, and I played around with it, and I ended up taking it home, playing around with it for a week now. Just wanted to share with you what I thought about it. If you have one, if you if you happen to see one, it seems like this is one of those guitars. You see it, show up somewhere, you've got to grab it uh, because somebody else will. Just because of the the price point, number one, and I gotta say, for the most part, a good quality build just for a, a guitar to. I don't want to say knock around, but if I'm playing a gig or I'm playing somewhere, I you know maybe just don't know where I am that sort of thing. I'd rather bring this, and if I had to lose a guitar, obviously you lose this than a thousand dollar guitar if it happened to grow a pair of legs. I'm not saying that would happen, but you know that's what I've been thinking. Like some of the guitars that I have, they're getting up there in age. But um, I play this; it feels great. I mean, again, again, I'll have a link down below. You can check out all the the specs on it. You know, in terms of all that, um, I don't want to bore you. I don't want to make this a long video. Just kind of giving you my two cents for the most part. Uh, how it sounds, just uh, everything you hear is going to be coming through my Spark 40, so I've got a clean tone, which I'll kind of just leave it where it is now. You can hear that. So clean tone with some, some reverb and some chorus probably on that. And then I'll um, show you, I guess, just a little bit of a heavier, heavier tone. Um, just to see how it sounds. I don't want to get too, you know, you can get really deep into the weeds on this. I don't want to do that. So um, the guitar itself, Semi hollow, right? So you've got the F holes here, but you've got the center block of, of wood right there, which kind of which makes it a semi hollow, because it's not a full hollow body, right? So you hear the difference, right? So here's your solid piece of wood right here. Uh, I believe it's a maple neck, a, a maple body. Um, I could be wrong, but um, really nice looking. I guess it's kind of the blue burst or the blueberry burst um, finish, rosewood top i think it's a maple neck it is actually set too if you take a look it's a set neck uh no bolts which is pretty cool headstock you know just kind of your ordinary headstock regular chrome tuners i guess um bridge feels good i mean the neck actually feels very good i again i don't know the exact measurements i would put this somewhere if you've ever played a paul reed smith and then you played maybe a fender strat with a thin thin neck this is kind of right in between there uh, it just feels good. As a matter, as a matter of fact, I have an Epiphone Master Built Acoustic. This feels almost identical to that, so it's got a nice, nice feel to it. Um, you know. And I played it up and down the neck. As of right now, um, there's no grinding on the frets, if that makes any sense. You know, I don't kind of feel the roughness. Don't feel that. I've gone up and down. I haven't had any buzz um, on it at all. One of the things I heard about these guitars was that you know the frets just kind of were sharp. They didn't do a great job, maybe of uh, filing, sanding them down. I think they feel great on you know I'm not catching anything on it, so it, it feels really good. Um, I know they've talked about maybe as far as just the uh, you know glue in certain areas. I look pretty closely. Looks pretty good. So so what I'm saying is for the amount of money I paid, I think it was well worth it just to add this to the. Uh, the collection, um, I've always wanted a 335, I should say actually a 355. The 355 is the one that Alex Lifeson um, just recently auctioned off actually, not too long ago. Um, you know, the, the white 355, 
that's the that was always been my dream guitar. So this was out, probably the closest I'm ever gonna get to that that type of guitar. Uh, but it just feels nice. It has a nice, cool vibe to it. Um, hard to say anything wrong with it, just because of the price point and what I was looking to get out of it. The only thing that I noticed, and I don't know if this is maybe aftermarket somehow, when I look at some of these other guitars, um, the pickups seem a little bit different. They're, you know, humbuckers in the, the ones that I've seen, typically the ones that I see though have kind of that, that chrome plating on the top, you know, um, where you don't kind of see the coils. Um, would have been really cool if those were on here. I think that just gave it a nicer look. But again, it, it just sounds really good. It, it, it just has a nice feel to it. It, it moves. So it just feels good. Um, so I, I guess, why am I doing this video? Well, just to kind of tell you what, what my experience has been. I like it a lot. I think it'll be it's just a nice guitar to add to the collection here. Um, if you're looking for an inexpensive guitar, I mean, this could be something you're looking for. Uh, they also have, I think, Les Paul models of this as well. But you've got to find them. You know, it's kind of like getting online, finding them at the right time, and, and, just, and just getting one, I guess. Um, so that was really, it didn't come with a bag or anything, which, which is cool. I kind of expected it. Uh, it just has a nice, nice feel to it. You know, so I wanted to share that with you. Uh, any questions, let me know. I'm going to... Um, from this, you know, this part of the, after this part of the video, I, if I get my words right, we'll, we'll work on that. Um, I'm gonna just play some more clean tone with the different bridges, uh, bridges, pickups. So I'll go uh, bridge to the neck to both on a clean, and then I'll do the same uh, on a dirtier type of channel. I don't know how much gain I can give this before it starts to maybe squeal a little bit. Again, it's, um, it's not a full hollow body, so maybe I've got a little more headroom on that when it comes to giving it some dirt. But again, I'll go clean, bridge, uh, neck, and then I'll do both. And then I'll go back, which is the uh, heavier sound uh, with, again, bridge, neck, I'll get this, and then both again. All right, so thanks for checking it out. Stay tuned for the next part of this video, which hopefully you're going to watch. And see you in the next one. Later.